of Euro Satori was a demonstration of mobility. Euro Satori 2010 started off on a Sunday with an outdoor demonstration of vehicles, manned and unmanned, aerial and earthbound. The demo was run on a muddy course quite a ways north of Paris, near Charles de Gaulle Airport. Consiste à mémoriser l'ensemble du parcours dans une base de données. Some vehicles were there merely as platforms to demonstrate everything from sensor systems to run flat tires. Soldiers staged a mock invasion of the small town to show the utility of new rifle mounted cameras and imaging technology. A company called Deschamps showed off some of its products, like this light integrated bridging system truck. It's a self contained bridge that can be deployed fairly easily and spans about 30 feet and supports a surprising amount of weight. These trucks effectively create roads and paths where there weren't any before. A smaller Moby mat traction mat or an individual vehicle self-recovery mat can be carried and deployed on a smaller scale. Hayes Diversified Technologies, or HDT, a U.S. company, demonstrated its diesel motorcycles and small all-terrain vehicle. The company builds tactical motorcycles, utility vehicles, and small, heavy fuel-powered engines. Renault Trucks Defense Division brought out its Sherpa Light 4x4. The family of Sherpa Light armored and unarmored variants is used for scout, patrol, convoy escort, and command missions. Tatra, a Czechoslovakian company, showed off the capability of its 8x8 truck with trademark swinging half-axle suspension, which allows the truck to operate in most any conditions. And Infotron's IT-180 VTUAV has counter-rotating rotors and is equipped with a gyro-stabilized camera. The live demo was a great way to start off the show and a practical way to make otherwise static technology and sensor systems come alive for spectators. This is Bettina Chavon in Paris with Aviation Week.